So this trip is something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while and I'll explain more about why that is in a few minutes but I guess we are technically backpacking because we do have backpacks full of gear but we also have a wagon full of gear on this trip and uh, we're about to set up base camp. Quick camp tour now that we're all set up. You'll notice that we have three tents set up here. This one is entirely just for gear storage. This is the Outdoor Vitals Dominion One, and I just have random stuff thrown in there right now. We brought two camp chairs. We've got the wagon full of food and the electric griddle. I'll talk about that in a minute. I just recorded a video of all of the video gear that I brought on this trip, so if you're interested in that, I'll have a link to my personal channel in the description. You can check out that video. I brought Jonathan on this trip. This is my tent. I'm using the Six Moon Designs Haven. For my sleep system, I'm using the Nemo Tensor, which is the new 2022 version, insulated version. My quilt is an Enlightened Equipment custom quilt. And over here, I have Jonathan using the Nemo Hornet two-person. And I honestly don't remember what I gave him for the sleep system. It is supposed to get down to, I think, 31 or 32 degrees tonight. And in this area that we are, I don't know if I showed you this, but we are right next to the river. Uh, and it's also been super windy here today. So I actually do have a second rumpel blanket if I get too cold. I don't know if Jonathan brought anything extra. Just extra layers of clothes. Yeah, so Jonathan is gonna freeze tonight, but I'm gonna be okay, and uh... Hand warmers, baby. <laughs> oh, he did bring hand warmers, okay. So let me tell you about the inspiration behind this trip. If you haven't yet seen any of his videos, go check out Morton Hilmer's channel. I'll link to his channel in the description. He is an incredible nature photographer, primarily doing wildlife photography, and he does incredible videos of his photo trips. And he'll do these trips where he'll go out for four days, seven days at a time, and just set up base camp with a bunch of gear. And during the day, he'll go out and just shoot photo and video and then come back to base camp. I've always thought that would be so much fun because on actual backpacking trips, I'm so limited on the camera gear that I can bring. So Jackery recently sent me their Explorer 1500 to test out and give you guys my thoughts on it. They also sent some solar panels that can be used to recharge this thing and I'll show you those tomorrow. And I figured this would be an excellent trip to test out something like this because for one, it's so heavy, I'm certainly not gonna take it on a typical backpacking trip. And also because I'm gonna be using multiple cameras all day long, I'm gonna be going through some batteries and I need a good way to recharge them. Clearly just recharging batteries is not really putting it to the test. And I didn't have one of those griddle tops that you set over the fire. I don't have a gas griddle. So I said, hey, I'll test out the Jackery by bringing our electric griddle from home. And I'm planning to cook most of our meals on this thing.
Well, it, uh, it got a little cold last night, got down to about 35 degrees, which still is not as cold as what I was expecting, but uh, thankfully it stayed pretty warm. And I saw some birds flying around over here, primarily crows, so I decided to come set up the big camera and, and uh, enjoy my coffee and try to get a few shots. And I'm uh, learning with wildlife photography that birds are everywhere when you're not trying to get photo and video of them but as soon as you set up a camera they disappear interesting how that works but uh i am enjoying just sitting here drinking my coffee i tried wildland coffee for the first time this morning which their coffee is in a, a bag like a tea bag so you steep it and i've tried doing that at home by myself before just using a coffee filter as the tea bag and uh, that didn't work out very well the coffee came out very weak but i think the bags that they're using for their coffee are a lot more permeable so this was a, a pretty good cup of coffee so i may not be uh getting much photo and video right now but i'm enjoying just sitting here and uh watching the the sun come out As of right now, even with the sun being up kind of behind those trees, it's generating about 120 watts of power input. Now, between using the, the 10 amp griddle to cook dinner last night, breakfast this morning, and charge a few batteries, it got down to 23%. So hopefully if I leave these sitting out most of the day today, it will be fully charged by this evening. My brother-in-law Kyle makes knives and he made this knife for me and gave it to me a couple of years ago. So thank you, Kyle. It's coming in handy. Well, it is Monday morning. Today is our final day here at camp. Being Monday morning, most of the other campers here at Burles Ford have cleared out that we're just here for the weekend. So uh, it's nice and open. It's gonna give me a little more chance to roam around and hopefully get to use the telephoto lens a little bit more. 
I haven't really had a lot of great opportunity to use it so far on this trip, at least not as much as I was expecting. So I'm going to uh, roam around here. If absolutely nothing else, I know there are a lot of crows in this area, so maybe I can at least get a few shots of them just to test out this lens. I'm now walking back to camp. I was able to get a few shots. I got a couple of birds, thankfully. Nothing extraordinary, but at least I don't feel like I'm leaving this trip empty-handed. It's about time for us to pack up. We are gonna do a quick little day hike to a waterfall nearby, so I'll be able to get some shots there. But uh, otherwise, it's about time for us to head home. I really cannot believe that I spent about a week camp just a half a mile from that waterfall last year, and I had no idea that it was right there. But seeing that was an excellent way to end this trip. So we are headed back to the car now. Got about a four hour drive home ahead of us. But if you've enjoyed this type of video, I know it's a little different from the videos that I typically do, but if you've enjoyed this, let me know by giving the video a like. If you want to see some of my other videos, you can click the little thumbnail below me, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.